Okay, first of all, what is kitchen hair? Now, when you ask that question, some people will say that kitchen hair is the back of a black woman's neck that is quote unquote nappy. But I say it is simply Afro kitchen hair, H A I R, hair that has been abused through lack of proper black hair care knowledge. That's what Shima says. It is just hair, ladies. Again, hair that grows out of our scalp that has been mistreated due to the fact that, you know, many of our black women are lacking proper black hair care knowledge. So again, kitchen hair, basically, when they say kitchen hair, they're referring to the back side, which is this. The back side, this area, all right? So like when your perm is growing out, you know, usually the new growth is also growing now. But the thing is, when, when people say kitchen hair, they're not saying it in a, you know, nice way. They're basically calling it, you know, hair that is ugly, that is, you know, that, that that's just doesn't look attractive. And they say as an insult. When they're telling you, you oh, you got that kitchen hair, you got to, you know, slap some more perm on that kitchen hair. They're not saying it, you know, in a, again, in a nice way. All right, so that's why I say that kitchen hair, basically, in that sense, is just hair that has been mistreated, you know, through lack of proper black hair care knowledge. And well, with that said, today we're going to learn proper black hair care knowledge, you know, to fix our <laughs> kitchen hair. Number one, Shima girls, we have to stop sleeping with our hair out every night. I'm always stressing this, that stop sleeping with our hair out every night. We, we need to be using a head scarf, a silk head scarf, your Shima Girl silk head scarves, okay? We need to use our Shima Girl silk head scarves every night to keep our hair protected, all right? To keep it smooth, you know, to keep the Shima oil locked in, all right? So don't forget your Shima Girl scarves every night. And you see, when you don't wear your Shima Girl scarves or, or your satin hair bonnets or, or your silk scarves in general, what happens, what, what do you look like when you wake up in the morning? Your hair is all wild all over the place. You know, you're feeding into the kitchen hair, you know, um, situation. So again, silk scarves are extremely important to wear every single night. Number two, Shima Girls, we need to stop improperly applying hair relaxers. I made tons of videos about this, you know, hair, you know, I, I relax my hair, but I am very cautious the way I relax my hair. You know, I time everything, you know, to perfection, to near perfection as humanly possible. I stretch my relaxers as well, okay? Always remember that these are chemical treatments, and I remember that, and that's why my hair has thrived so much, because I treat those hair relaxers, you know, with caution. I always keep in mind, okay, this is a chemical treatment. A chemist developed this hair relaxer, not your average person, a chemist who studied, you know, chemistry. What ingredients work best with this type of chemical? And, and I keep that in mind. I tell myself these things so that I can be very careful when I apply my hair relaxers. That's why I share this knowledge with you ladies. Be careful when you or when, or when your friend or when your hairstylist is applying those hair relaxers. Improperly applied hair relaxers also leads to kitchen hair situations. Number three, we need to stop abusing hot combs, hot curling irons, and flat irons. We need to stop straightening the back part of our hair with these hot combs. We are destroying our hair that way. And especially the nape area, that is very delicate hair. And also around the hairline, those hairs are what you call baby hairs, you know. They're extremely delicate. So when, you know, imagine the heat of that hot iron you know steaming through those baby hairs of course you're going to destroy your hair of course you're gonna you know eventually develop that kitchen hair um you know situation number four shima girls we need to also stop abusing hair weaves we need to stop keeping them in longer than two months all right we need to also stretch the amount of times we wear weaves at the amount of times we relax our hair because when we abuse these things it damages our real hair and, and I strongly encourage you ladies to avoid sewing weaves and especially those gluing weaves, okay? Avoid that at all costs. It has destroyed one too many of a black woman's hair, all right? We need to put the weaves down that have to be glued in or sewed in, 
all right i opt for the clip on weaves you know the, the extensions that you clip on or at least a, a half wig you know something that can be easily removed from our real hair that's what i recommend and finally number five shima girls we need to stop neglecting keeping constant moisture in our hair all right we need to stop neglecting not putting on our shima oils like we're supposed to all right if your hair is dry you need to shima oil okay again only a little bit goes a long way this is but remember, this is my favorite Shima Hair Growth product, and a lot of you ladies have used them. You've seen the results with your own eyes already, okay? Please do not neglect Shima oiling, meaning do not neglect keeping constant moisture in your hair so you can wipe out the hair dryness that is also responsible for causing that kitchen hair. I mean, Shima Girls, what happens when you don't water your plants? What happens? Well, as the days go by, you see that their once shiny, healthy, gorgeous leaves slowly begin to fade. They slowly begin to get brown and get stiff and finally fall off. And well, the plant basically dies, right? Well, that, that is basically what's happening with our hair when we refuse to nurture it with moisture. It gets dry, it begins to break. It is it's basically a reflection of what we refuse to give it, which is, again, moisture. Okay, ladies, again, I hope you learned a lot from this video. Now I hope you know how to avoid getting that kitchen hair. And basically, it's just common sense type of tips, but you need to apply it. Okay, apply these tips so you will see that your hair will never have to go through anything like that. All right, your hair will always be healthy. All right, when your hair is healthy, it, it, it's a reflection on you. It's not just the hair. It's also a reflection on you, that you care about your body, all right, that you care about yourself. Well, Shima girls, thank you for listening, and I'll see you in the next video.